I'm sorry, but I am not spending 10,000 silver to skip levels. I am fine with leveling. I'm the leveling, I, I'm the leveling fool. I enjoy leveling, you know? I don't have time to level, but I enjoy it. Five O hooks, okay. Like, that's where we sell fish. Is there a cafe here? I don't see anything new there. All right, five O hooks, Remy. I got gotcha. you. There's the drink vending machine. Oh, here's the bait shop. Oh, I got gotcha. you. Okay, so what do y'all recommend? I don't want to spend gold on this stuff, right? Like, at least for now, I want to see what it's like with... Uh... So does it tell you sea bottom flying collar lures? Can you craft any of this stuff? I think we just go shrimp, right? We just go shrimp? Y'all saying yes to shrimp? All right. You know, eh, I guess it comes with 30 pieces. It's not cheap. Oh, yeah, yes, yes. Oh, is that to crafting? I haven't even looked at this stuff yet. Oh, yay. Good grief, guys. This got a little more expensive. Expensive? I mean, it. that's true. Didn't mean to say that, but that's true too. This got a little more complicated. We've added a little bit more complication to things, right? Oh, we can make... No? No more... No, no new lures. We do have... Okay, that's good. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm catching on here. All right, for now we're just going shrimp. Everything is so expensive. Wait, what? Strips are better? I can't, I can't do strips though, right? Lurker lures are good too, and Kraken. Okay, let's just, let's just, let's just go out with what we got. I can actually, did anybody, oh yeah, here is a cafe. That's cool. We've got a cafe, guys. Got a little more overwhelming. Blue and red lures are really overwhelming. Okay. Oh, crap. Are you serious? I can't put shrimp on this rod? Oh, busted. I just got busted for that. What? Filet. Try E7, okay. So it has to be a fillet. So like, you can either catch the fillets or buy the fillets. I guess we'll buy a couple just to... Safe fillets, okay. I don't know what... What is... What's a safe fillet, by the way? Oh, this. The strip this small safe this wolfie's like i'll send you some <laughs> am i clueless that's the herring so some people like the safe some people like the herring you got tons? You got tons, Wolfie? You don't have to th send me anything. I mean, you're welcome to. I'm not going to turn you down, but don't feel like you need to. Uh, I'm just, you know, I'm just chilling. I'm just overwhelmed and chilling. Where, by the way, I still haven't found the, um, 
Don't let me get near that ATM machine. That's dangerous right now. All right, here's a boat station. Wait, it's 70% off? Oh, if you buy gold. If you buy it with gold. Interesting. Okay, so we know from experience that we need to have at least one backup ticket. Yo, Big Daddy, how's it going? Alright, we're just going to start off like this. Yo, everything is pricey. We better catch some nice, stinking fish. Alright, can anybody tell me what the uh, tackle, box, tackle store is near? Actually, it might have been over here. Was it one of the first things I looked at? Yeah, here it is. What was I going to look at? Oh, yes. Y'all were saying some kind of different lure. Lurker and Kraken. All right, here's the Kraken. What size are they? Oh, yeah, it's not bad. Where's the Lurker? Dude, there's so many Krakens. Oh, you're just saying like, is that the brand? All the uh, Lurker is up. Okay. All the uh, Reds are out of stock. Oh, here's the Lurker. Yo, Red Lurker. Might not be the right size. So that's another Zyman, huh? So you probably want... Oh, the 200 Red is in stock. The 200 red is in stock. We also have the 300. I don't know that I won't. I mean, let's just try it, huh? All right, I, we've got to stop spending silver, by the way. Until I see that we're going to catch some fish. Yo, Wolfie, thank you. All right, so let's see how this works. Thank you very much, Wolfie. Seriously, I appreciate it. All right, so there's the safe. We've got some fillet strips. Can I set this sucker down? Where's our boat? Where are we right now? You would think the boat would be on this side somewhere, right? Am I crazy? Or you would think the boat would be over here. Middle of harbor area. Oh. All right, I'm going to try. I'm going to try a few herring and those safe as well. So we've just got some variety. Is it this boat down here? Is it this boat down here, guys? Like, we're ready now, right? So y'all are kind of telling me that we're not casting it very far and we're just letting it sink. And then, do we actually want to reel in? Like once we're out there or do we just want to just like pull it off the bottom and let it go down to the bottom? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I got you, I got you, I got you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, cool. That's what I was figuring, but it's nice to know it. All right, here we go. Hey, can somebody send me a boat ticket? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Whoa, what are we doing here? Uh, slow down. Don't be creating a wake before you even get out. Um, sonar. Okay, what just happened? Oh, it changes that. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Y and G. Oh, that's the map. Okay. 
What does P do? Oh, back to there. Stand up. So I assume we can we can walk around, we can chill. It's a nice looking boat, but who forgot to put the rod holders in? I mean, that's a must, right? I can't I can't seem to drive again. Oh, here we go. It's not a trolling map. What is that? I'm not talking about for trolling. I'm talking about for rigging up our brand new boat rods and throwing out fish guts to get the shark stirred up and catching those on bottom, bottom feeders, right? Yo, it does have them? The boat rotters, the boat rot. Whoa, whoa, that's interesting. Okay, yeah, y'all are probably right. Let's hope y'all are right. Sorry. Okay, we're flying now. Where did y'all say to go? Hold on, let me find out. Somebody gave me a coordinate. E seven. E seven. Really? Like over that thirty four? I was going to go to go to go to the fifty five. Y'all like thirty four better? We'll try thirty four first. Heck yeah, man. We are flying. Kind of. 34, 55, what I've seen so far. Yeah, we'll just we'll just give it a try. Yo, there's fish all around us right now. Yeah, the fish finder is pretty cool. You think I should tempt that 215? Where is the 215? Yeah, we'll go out there at some point. Yeah, let's do it. We'll, we'll totally do it. We'll find some, some monster to just chew us up. What's up, gamer? Oh, wait, what? Where is that? Oh, hold on. video what is everything looks different oh i am so excited for this i mean i don't even know what it looks like yet but i've always wanted it to have a little bit better field of view a little farther back thanks guys We're almost there. We're almost there. Yo, Remy. By the way, grats on your trophy scythe. I saw you say that before and my, my mouth never caught up to my brain or something happened. But grats on that. I don't even... That's so cool. Sharks bite through the big leaders. Thunderstorm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In-game group chat, totally open. Just search for my dogs. M-Y space D-A-W-G-S. All right, so we're going up to a little more shallow area here. Let's see. Let's kind of aim this direction a little bit. Oh, look how many fish are on that shelf. So, noob question here. One of a million, I'll probably ask. Is the farthest left side of the sonar what you're actually above i think i just want to go ahead and stop us here i just want to put the how can i just stop no back good grief how do i put the anchor down
Wait, what? No anchor? I'll figure this out eventually, don't worry. You got a swordfish, nice! Yo, can somebody tell me why we wouldn't have an anchor though? Doesn't that seem weird? Mystic says it's too deep for an anchor. 35 meters is too deep for an anchor? <laughs> Kennesaw. Kennesai? You're right. All right. Do we think that's the bottom? It should tell us when it's at the bottom, right? It's just drifting, though. We're just drifting further and further away from our... You don't move too much? Okay. Holy cow. We are fishing, boys. All right, we spent about, I think we spent about 16, hold on, 52. What did we spend, like 14,000 silver to get out here? But we're here. We're out here. First fish on rainbow line we got it five meters from the boat here she is can we turn do we release it just kidding all right can we turn that into any kind of anything i'm just curious what was it again atlantic cod probably not mackerel bait fish Dead fish is not cod, I'm guessing. Yeah, mackerel. So cod, we're not turning cod into anything, right? Safe and mackerel. Thank you. Yo, Mystic, I'm uh, literally, I mean, I've probably been streaming about 12 hours, and I finally just threw the, I mean, that was the first time I've, like, done anything. So uh, I just got to the new map, to be honest. Yo, we, what's going on? I hit the wrong button. Do not hit Y, even when you're out here, okay? Pro tip. Let's make sure we're actually, yeah, we weren't at the bottom. Now we're at the bottom. All right, pro tip, don't hit Y no matter where you are. Second pro tip, second pro tip. I didn't buy the book. Thank you for that, though. You can tell if you're on the bottom, look at the, uh, if you're using rainbow line, look at the number. It shows you when the line's still spinning out, right? I shouldn't say pro tip, noob tip. There's nothing pro about what's happening out here right now. First, we watched M Dog. I just, I just keep reading that same comment. I love it. First, we watched M Dog. By the way, we're getting a jig step. First, we watched M Dog wrestle with his computer, then with the new gear. Twelve hours later, now with a boat. <laughs> Uh, oh, I need to reel in. Like, how, what do you, what do you mean, Remy? How often do I need to reel in? We probably want to reel a little slower then, huh? Just click, right click. Strong perking. We're getting some perking going on. Good thing we have some privacy.
Hmm. I can't tell if I'm doing it too fast. Oh, maybe I just need to do short clip clicks. Not so like long. Don't hold. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's funny. I'm not getting it at all anymore. We're also not on the bottom. Now we are. I don't know if that matters. There we go. Well, at least we're back to jig stuff, right? <laughs> Caught your first fish. Game over. Uh, I don't know, man. Look how far away this had drifted. That might have been... What? Okay, that looks like it's got to be related to sharks, right? We're point four marine fishing now, by the way. Watch out. Hey, let's switch lures. Uh, let's go... Let's let's try the um let's try the lurker actually. Uh oh. Okay, and let's also switch to the uh herring. We're gonna put a small fillet herring on there. Alright, all kinds of crazy stuff happening. Yo, lust hold it for one second. Alright. It is a shark. Okay, I figured. I mean, that's what it's thinking look like, right? All right, we are, we're good. So you can tell, I mean, it looks like it drifted towards us because the slack's not going out of it anymore. Let's see. Let's watch the line a little bit here. Getting jigged up again. A Sven Skipilkin is a lure in the game. If it's a lure in the game, it's a very popular pilk to use in this area. Oh, cool. Or maybe something that's meant to be like that or something. Yeah, it looks like it's going. Let's actually try to cast it the way that the thing's going. Um, the way the current's going or whatever. Yeah, I, I, I see that. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll try to do that as well. Keith is saying, yes, there is a similar lure. It's called the Craig, Craig something. Oh, yeah, yeah, we can do a comp. Oh, we got strong Pier King again. 
So is this why we're getting it now? Because of the the maybe the the way the tide's going? Because we went over here in the right direction. This update is mind blowing. So much fun, yo, Kefius. Uh, I don't. I'm not. I'm not. I don't. No sarcasm here. I'm, I legitimately am asking this. Like, what have you been getting into that's been fun? I just start. I mean, I don't know how long you've been here, but I just started fishing. So I'm. I'm genuinely curious. Like. What kind of things have you have you tried like bottom fishing from the shore? Have you uh, just tried like other types of fishing besides pilking? Woo! Hello. depths and water columns that's awesome yeah i do want to move around i think we'll stay here until at least through this day have you ha have you been catching anything at night i'm wondering like if we should have thought about a different lure for evening hey it's our first safe With bright white lures so maybe this first overnight I should go back to town and get a couple bright white lures because well I do have the 01 you think the 01 might work a little bit 2.5 oh cut the safe if it's under 2.5 okay drop-offs fascinating okay good to know Well, I noticed when we first got to the edge of this 35 meter area, at least according to the sonar, it seemed like all the fish were all of a sudden like bunched up, you know? Oh, thank you, Kefius. That's great. Great info. How long till I catch a swordfish? Whew. Oh, just because I was moving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe we hadn't stopped moving. I just felt like all of a sudden there were a lot more fish or something. Does the sonar thing work on Archie's boat? It's definitely a different sonar. What do y'all think? Yeah, that's a good point, Kefius. Especially with the tide changes and... I should be paying attention to the wind direction and stuff too. Just, just to kind of, just out of curiosity, like how often is it changing? There's strong pierking. Yeah, I'm kind of seeing that, Remy. It's like, if I'm not getting pierking, the answer seems to be reel it a little bit and then start doing the right click thing again. That does seem to be kind of what's happening. I don't, 
Ooh, there we go. I don't really hear much sound out here. I wonder if my in-game audio is just pretty far down low. Oh, it's a haddock. We've got four different species of fish right now. All right, let's think about this. Why don't we just try in this little 160 spot for a second? Trash? Okay. Well, I may still just try it. I, I kind of want to just see what it's like to try to get the uh the fishing technique down when it's that much deeper maybe we push over it and go to 170 then big worm how's it going buddy we'll push we'll, we'll push through 160 we'll go 170 Yo, this is fun. It's fun just because, like, there's new stuff to work for. I mean, if you've been playing this game for years and years, right? There's new stuff to work towards. There's new skills to level up. There's new fish that you've never caught before. And there's so much new stuff. Like, it's overwhelming right now. But once I get a little bit more comfortable with some of the new ideas and stuff, it's it's just it's fun. It's so cool. Yo, the overlords are not saltwater usable. Okay. So you just straight up can't equip it on a on a rod that you're gonna put in the salt. I mean that I mean how does that work? It looked like it, some stuff it looked like if it's, it either was saltwater resistant or not, right? Am I right or no? How does that work? All right, I also, I feel like we try the, the, uh, oh, look at this. We can't use the herring. Oh, no, no, no. That's already one. Sorry. That's already what's installed. Let's do the safe and this also go to, it's just getting a little late, so let's go to the um, a little bit brighter lure here. Wait, why are the engines still on? That's going to ruin my mojo. So you can troll. You can troll on this map, right? Just I think I just saw the trolling option. All right, let's see... Yeah, we'll see if this works. There's saltwater grease. Upgrade bearing saltwater grease. That's fascinating. By the way, this should be really deep right here. I think, check my landing net. Wait, what is, how do I check my landing net? Is that what you mean? All right, I think I'm gonna stop at a hundred meters. Instead of going all the way to the bottom right now, I'm gonna stop at a hundred.
Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> that's uh it's a landing hook, right? Yeah, there's halibut. I haven't caught one yet, though. So we went to a 100 meter depth. It supposedly goes to like 170 here. If we don't catch anything at this depth, we'll go we'll go down a little farther. Let's give it a minute here. Yeah, good call. Where's the crab net? It's a good question. I'm not sure, Noel. Crabs are probably like lamprey. Yeah, I don't know. We can look at the what's on the water body here. Oops. Um, I don't even know how to do that now. All right. I don't see anything crab. Nah, no crab. My day is ruined. All right, let's do this. Let's go to the bottom, or at least closer to the bottom. Oh, really? That's new, right? Hidden species, I like it. It is so deep right now. Oh crap. How long is it gonna take to reel this in? So it was just dropping and a fish hooked up. It wasn't even to the bottom yet, but it's tiny. This is gonna take forever. Forty fish, okay. I don't know about fishing this deep, just in terms of the time. Okay, so can we cut this sucker up? So I'm guessing we want small. Oh, that just gives us one piece. Any new, uh, any, uh, any thoughts on doing like, it just looks like it's one piece no matter what size. Do strip. Okay. Let's do strip then. Oh, 
Oh, we got 10 pieces. It's, it's fine, chat. It's all good. It's all good. Hmm. Just gonna drink my coffee. Yeah, I agree. I agree. It deserved it. <clears throat> All right, we're gonna we're gonna fish at this depth one more time. I really did not like reeling something in that long. If if we can catch fish at a at a little bit more reasonable depth than that, I'm all for it. Plus, I'm tempted to go like get a couple of. Uh, what did somebody tell us? I'm sorry, I don't remember who said it, but somebody said like at night. Oh, I think it was. Um, Here, let me find it. Because it was Kefius, right? Uh, at night, Wolfish and Cusk. All right, where's Cusk? I'm on the wrong freaking. All right, Cusk. The Pilker. Maybe we get this like Lurker 06 or there was that one that was like r bright rainbow. Anyway, we just want something bright, right? And then where's the wolfish? Okay, there's the wolfish. Yeah, I don't know. All right. We'll see what we can do here. I'm getting jig step. Let's reel, reel it up a little bit. Call it Trophy Cusk on Lunker 001. Okay. I like that you get that bonus movement in the bottom layer. Ooh. All right. 165 meters of fun here. So this was at 2 a.m. I think that's a really cool sign that we've hooked up with two fish in a row overnight hours, right? By the way, thank you, Th Thunderstorm. It does happen, right? I wish that, I mean, is there a maximum? Like, I hope it wouldn't let you do that to a trophy or something or, you know, like a 20 kilo or something. <laughs> Burbot Mania 2.0. I mean, this is a decent fish compared to that last one. If it's another uh, another one of that same species, the Saith or whatever, this will be a marker, right? Is there a way to get the bait? So some baits you can buy from the uh, the boat at the dock, but you couldn't get any of the fish fillet stuff. So you either have to get that with gold or you have to harvest it yourself. So you'd have to catch it and then craft it yourself. Halibut or angry? It lets you do a 20 kilo trophy? Ugh. All right, well, I'm just, I'll just be a lot more careful next time, obviously. Ooh, come on. Come on. Oh. Hey, Turbot, you know what this reminds me of? And for obvious reasons, because they did sea fishing. So there's a lot of overlap in species with uh, Fisher Own Lion, right? 
And I mean, I guess that's because those are the types of fish you would find in sea, sea areas like this. To add the extra bait, do you need an extra hook? I don't think so. It just did it auto, right? Some of the things it looks like we couldn't do till we level up some. Oh yeah, 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 Manta Zoo. Sorry, yeah, I'm, I'll, I'll find it. That sounds like a good idea. I meant to start that myself, but I'm happy to let you start it. That sounds great. Let me get this, uh, this monster dogfish in. Maybe this will be that, um, what was it called? Baseball fish? Soccer fish? Football fish. Football. Maybe this will be a football. Ooh. That's actually a decent little cusk, isn't it? All right. Oops. Of course, I click on the wrong one twice. Crap. Crap. Okay. All right. If anybody wants to join the fun competition, we are uh, <clears throat> fishing for total weight of anything. You have to at least be level one and you can't be higher than 80. All right. Um, all right, so this is the way I have it set up. No extra hooks or anything, right? No extra hooks, just got some strips on there. Just fishing with the strips. I'm gonna try putting the small fillet back on for a bit. Hey, and you you start this whenever you feel comfortable starting it. I, I mean, I'm you can wait. I don't care. Don't don't doesn't matter to me. Actually, I want to go. I do want to go. We're we're about to get morning hours here. Let's go to 55. Let's go to 55 area. This has been good here. We'll, we'll keep that in mind. But let's go try. Um, let's go try the 55 area. Yo, two sushi. Thanks for the follow. We're going to go fish in 55 for a bit. So here we come to the uh, shelf. I actually kind of want to stop right here. I kind of want to stop right here. So we're right on the edge there. And <laughs> some random dude is like cool in dog John. Oh he probably had like a thousand silver. Nah. Nah, it was free. <laughs> Okay. All right. Yo, vape. I'm having a really good time, vape. So this is like partially my personality to be to be frank, but I'm uh I'm overwhelmed. But so I, I just have to kind of get through through this time where I feel like I don't understand anything and I feel a bit overwhelmed. But you know, I'm starting to catch a few fish. Chat's helping me out. So I'm having a good time. It's the map is beautiful and there's so much new stuff, right? All right, let's reel this in a little bit. See if we can get, there we go. Maybe that'll work. Uh, so yeah, seems cool. Oh, that's jig step. So in my experience, when it jig steps like that, we might need to reel it in a little farther. I am readied up, aren't I? Oh crap, sorry. <gasps> Wait. Am I in the right? Okay. What just happened? Did something just happen? All right, I confirmed readiness again, right? There. 
it lagged out. All right, so everybody might need to confirm readiness again, just, just so y'all know. Yo, Pillow of Winds, thanks for the kind words. Welcome to the stream. Uh-oh, do we have a fish on? Oh, catch it. Okay. It's fun, man. It's just, it's just fun. I do not wicked Vi Viking. What is it called? I need to look it up. That's really cool. I'm so glad they have ventured into both saltwater fishing as well as, okay, hey, we got a replacement. Not as big as our original, but at least we got a replacement. Um, also out of the Russian areas. You know what I mean? I think that's really cool. All right, Relicate, if you were here, if you could, yes, thank you. Thank you. The mountains is Lofoten and the water body is Vestfjorden. That's awesome. That's really cool. Yo, I... Bite rate is sick right now. What? It's actually, it's actually a fish here, boys. So yeah, like, I think first impression is very positive about this map and about like the new direction, new stuff. I think my biggest concern is just like <laughs> stuff is expensive, <laughs> but again, there's just no way around it, right? This is a grindy game. You just kind of have to embrace it. I think there is like a certain level of grindiness that starts to feel... I just... I personally just don't have the time for a certain level of grindiness, but I mean, that's fine. You, you can do what you can do, I guess. You can do what you can do. Uh, cool. We got another cusk. Are cusks worth anything? I hope they are. I hope they're decent to catch cusk. Hopefully, like, I guess that's the other hope. And we won't know till we go check this out, but as you start to catch some fish, like, does the silver add up? Because we spent about 12K to get out here. Um, I mean, that's initial investment on this, on this rod and the really expensive line and the lures and stuff, but can you make some silver out here? Yo, gravy. Nah, not decent. Probably should just block him, but he is live. Hey, an Atlantic mackerel. I have a feeling that even though this is a marker, it's so small, I wonder if it's better to turn that into bait. I probably won't, because we want to see how much it does. But you can do filet of mackerel, so we could like turn this into a filet right and we can also do dead fish what's the benefit of that i doubt it's something i can use right now but anyway it appears to be a thing 25 silver ish heath will says cafe order for mackerel like is this the right size oh 500 grams is actually decent silver okay We'll hold, we'll hold on to him then. We'll hold on to him. Yo, I'm in first place. Can we just stop the competition real quick? I think we're good. Keep an eye on the map records.
Okay, thank you, Heath. Four at 400 grams. If you're not getting that strong perking, it's probably because you need to reel it in just a tiny amount. At least that's been my experience. Yo, Darkwin, I feel you. So here you are at level 23. Are you tempted or have you already made plans to come out? Yo, Relicade! Look at that region record black rough 6.9. What kind of rough is 6.9 kilos? So have you have you been tempted to um do that thing like the, for, if you're under level 34 you can pay to get all the equipment come out here and fish? I think you would level so fast. I don't even know if you want to do that, but it seems like the XP for fish out here is pretty sick, right? Yeah, I feel you, big worm. I agree. Is that another mackerel? Oh, it's a safe. All right. We're hitting the safe. Muy guy, greetings. Welcome back. Yo, thank you. Kinesai, I agree. It's, I mean, it's all about this community. Obviously, I haven't streamed in a long time, so it's, it's not me. It's, it's all of you. It's great. Thank you for being here. Yeah, yeah, but I think you get gear. That's what I was saying. Like, I don't know. So it costs thirteen hundred silver. So it's expensive, right? But you get five. I'm assuming this is real life game day. So it's like you want to do this when you're on vacation or something, right? Not having to work is what I'm saying. You get boat. You don't have to pay for the boat. You get tackle and lures. And you can even replace it in case it's damaged. I actually really like that. It doesn't affect high level players, but I like that. that I think that's a really cool thing. Yo, Colton, let us know. I, like, I really, maybe I should get on like one of my alt accounts and just check that out. I just want to know, like, what is that experience like? What is this? Small redfish. Wait, did I read that wrong? Is that five? Wait, is that only five hours? Game days. My bad. Okay, that changes things entirely. Can you make 1,400 silver? I mean, I'm sure you can. But if you were just like going out, to, look at this. I didn't even notice that. It looks like a whale with weird eyes. Yo, I don't know. That's a way to level fast, I bet. But I don't know. Is that a way to make money? I don't know. Wait, what happened to my competition? Did I get kicked? No, 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 the boat costs are free. No, boat costs are included, according to this. Fishing boat for the entire duration. Tackle and lures. Yo, I got kicked from the comp. Alright, I'll catch the next one or something.
Yo, I am out. <laughs> I'm still on at fifth place. No, 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 Big Worm. You definitely do not keep gear. It's a rental. The question is, if you played those five hours, you kind of had a game plan, you play those five hours, can you make that silver back? Because the way I'm thinking of it is, the, what you're paying for is the experience of it and the experience. I think it's a way for lower level players to get a crap ton of XP quickly. Because I've just been noticing how much XP these fish are for. So it's almost like, yeah, you get the experience of coming out here, plus you probably le level really quickly. Yeah, and you get those early marine skill up points. Yeah, that's a good point too, but I don't know. I just, I think the the thing to me, like you don't necessarily have to make money off the trip, but if you can get close to breaking even, there's a squid by the way. If you can get close to breaking even, then it might be worth it just for the XP if you were looking to gain XP pretty quick. I don't know. I, I guess there's nothing I can do with this squid. Thought there might have been, but I guess there's not. Yeah, yeah, you get all the gear you need, but only while you're on the five day trip, five hour trip, you know what I mean? Even if the gear gets damaged, it sounds like they replace it for you while you're on your trip. <laughs> well, I'm glad I'm still in the competition on your screen. You'll have to let me know how I do. Yeah, it's it I, I will say it's a gamble, right? But my suspicion is, I mean, we'll see. But if you kind of had a game plan, knew what you were doing and the gear is decent that they give you, you might be able to break even and then you've just like gotten 10 quick levels or something. Oh, uh, you're doing it right now, Neisner? So, yeah, I guess just like let let us know like how much are you leveling? How quickly are you leveling? And uh, how hard is it to at least try to break even on that silver? Ooh, that's kind of a small setup actually. Yeah, that's the other thing. If you wait and do it, like when there's good, good, uh, good spots known. Although I'm curious about this map. I, like somebody was saying earlier, spots might be moving all around out here. I don't know how consistent it'll be. You're level 28 and you got 200k experience and 500. Oh yeah, it should it should stop when you log out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would think so. 200,000 XP. So what were you when you went in? Were you level 28 when you went in? You've seen some people doing jigging from shore. That's cool. So you didn't even get one full level. See, I was thinking with these fish, for some reason I was thinking it would like, I guess it just depends on what level you are, but I do feel like these fish are worth more XP than your average fish you're catching at that level, but I could be wrong about that. These are all things I'd like to test. I wonder if the jigging from shore is having better results than this though. This seems pretty solid. Pollock. It's 47. I don't know. Salmon are better for leveling. Oh, really? You mean like Volkov salmon? 
jigging on the boat is great. What's up, Hayne? So you're jigging. What are you just jigging spoons or what? Oh, Archie salmon. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Yeah, we're we're leveling up. We're leveling up. That's cool. You can see when the line is slowing down, it looks like. Oh, we're drifting. We have drifted off. All right, we'll try this, but we've drifted off. We need to go recenter on the... On the marine jigging rig, 50 gram hook and the red handmade soft plastic. And are you, uh, are you reeling in? Are you using a similar technique to what I'm doing right now? Can you fish on the bottom? Apparently vape, you can eventually fish on the bottom, but you have to level up your marine fishing, the new skill category to be able to gain access to the boat rods. That's what I'm, at least that's my understanding. Of course, I haven't experienced that yet myself, but that's my understanding. Just regular jigging style, but you don't get jig step, but you catch a lot of fish. Okay, I'll have to try that, Hain. I mean, the other thing is that's kind of interesting is that I'm sometimes getting jig step just doing this until I have the line reeled in just perfect to get the perking going. So I'm wondering if you could just jig step it without reeling. I don't know, maybe not. Uh, I should have switched back. I wanted to switch off of the small fillets. Either uh, either test out the sand, I mean the mackerel or put the uh, the little they look like little ropes. I can't remember what we call them, but the other the other bait option. One thirty. Kids don't care where daddy slept or not when they want breakfast. I'm out. Have fun. Hey, thank you so much for hanging out. Appreciate you being here. I know with the time difference and all that, like this stream parted started pretty late. So, thanks for uh, being patient, and hanging out. I'll try to start earlier one day soon. More cowbell. All right, we've we've not this is the longest we've gone without a bite. But we're also out of our spot. Let's let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and move back to the right spot here, or or somewhere in the fifty-five. We drifted out to the eighty. I was just kind of trying it, but it's also during the day. Let's switch up lures and everything. Look how far we drifted in that amount of time. Like that sucker was way away from us. All right, let's try the O3. I haven't tried the O3 yet, and let's go back to a uh, a fillet strip. So it feels like we're drifting northwest. The wind is blowing from the southwest. So we kind of want to be like down there somewhere.
where from shore can you fish? I'm not exactly sure. I think people were fishing just like, I think there's a way you can walk around to the shore, maybe down here, like A5 to maybe A6 area. I'm not sure though. I haven't tried that yet myself. All right, I'm getting jig step. So if I reel in a little more, it should switch. Yeah, there we go. A5 is great. Two rods on bottom on Neurasis and one jigging. Really? That sounds cool, button, huh? Nothing huge. Non-stop fish. Still, though, that seems fun. Look at that sculpin. So bait they're using Neurasis, it sounds like. Ten kilo safe. Ooh, now we're getting perking instead of strong perking. I think this is the first time I've seen it where it hadn't said strong perking. Oh, now it's strong. Does that have to do with like how fast the current's moving or something? Yeah, you could fish at midwater. I, I may try that in a minute. I um, it, it was a different spot, but the one time I tried to fish like at about fifty percent, I just wasn't getting bites. But that might have been there and not, might not be the case here. It's also interesting. I mean, we're kind of like in what day one, day one point five of this new map. Curious to see if things like just kind of settle in, if it's going to be very different or like how much variety or var variability there'll be on this map. We're not getting a bite right now though. Big waves do help a consistent strong perk. Okay. Restart. And I guess that's the other thing. I've got no skill points put into any of this marine fishing stuff. All right, let's go up to about 35 kilos and let's see. Sorry, 35 meters. 
and let's see um, if we can get a bite here. The nearest is expensive bait. What? Fake? Fake fish? You can get tons of things on the casters off the boat dock as well. I wonder if uh, Tinka Kicks is talking about this map or not. Ooh, Jakey, nice safe. All kinds of nice fish getting caught right now. Oh, you're talking about Severski, gotcha, okay. Nice Atlantic cod. All right, people seem to be a bit more dialed in than I am. Some nice fish coming out right now. All right, so let's get uh, let's get a red lure back on while we're still in daylight here. Um, let's try the dapper. Let's try the dapper here. We're gonna go back to the bottom, I think. So we did get that one bite at midwater vape, but the fish popped off, so I didn't get to see what it was. I'm actually not sure if it was ever fully on there though. Maybe we should move spots, actually. Is anybody fishing in somewhere other than the 55 right now? Feeling like you're having some good, uh, some good action out here? This has really slowed down pretty dramatically for me, I feel like. Maybe we go try the uh, 75 or the 80. You caught a swordfish at 190. Woo! Were you at the bottom, Pytum? Oh, top. How far d down? Do you remember? 33, 34. Y'all are at 34. Oh, this area here. Okay. Where's 190? Ooh, I see it.
three fourths, 75% of 190. Hey, it's a spotted wolf fish. All right. That's not near as exciting as I just made it sound, by the way. All right. 190. We're going to try it. I don't, I don't know about fishing that deep. I mean, I'll try it kind of see like what the bite rate's like and stuff, but man, that's a long ways to reel something in, you know? We'll try it. No worries. We'll give it a try. I mean, that if, if we're not experimenting and doing weird stuff right now when the map first comes out, like, what are we even doing, you know? I earned a point. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The depth, it does slow you down, but if you're, you know, if you're occasionally getting a decent fish, that might be okay. Yeah, maybe Blunty. I don't know about that, but uh, I think it blocked it anyway, Vape. Uh, the problem is I just like my conventional, it's decent, but it doesn't, it's just not enough power, potentially not enough power. Uh... By the way, if you're just getting here, we're using 60 kilo rainbow braid with 60 kilo shock leader. We've been switching around from different lures, but just to kind of show the setup, we, we bought one of the cheaper, I mean, it's still seven grand, but we went in for a little bit cheaper pilker rod, but still load capacity is up over 60, 68. Using the Tagara. There you go. There you go. Somebody just caught a 30 kilo, basically a 30 kilo Atlantic cod. I actually probably want to go ahead and stop. Because I think we're going to keep drifting in that direction. All right, let's see. So I think we'll be drifting in that direction. Uh, maybe we'll cast back this way a little bit. All right, how deep we want to go? That's the question. Maybe we'll go to, uh, let's try it at like 125. Let's see if we can get a bite at 125. Man, it takes forever. If there's a way to put a little more weight on here, that would be cool. Just to like sink a little faster. All right, there we go, 125. Yeah, something like that. I mean, I know that's, it, I don't know. I'm just saying it'd be nice if they would sink a little faster.
how to jig step from shore. I think you probably just want to like, Oh, is that a bite? Nope. Uh, let's see, if I was jig, ste jig stepping from shore, I guess I would just do the like, you know, whatever speed you want to do it at 30, 25, 35, whatever. And, uh, just do real, real and pause maybe. I mean, you could try doing something like this actually, but I don't know if that would work from shore in the same way. Good grief. Oh, is that a fish? No. Hawker says, I use short bursts of shift plus speed 50. Nice. And Pytum said, I did the same thing from shore as on boat. All right. I mean, we're here. Let's just try going a little deeper. So we should be under, over 190. Let's try going to one, 160 maybe. 150. Maybe we'll try 150 for a minute. We won't wait too much longer. We got to find some better bites. We'll go back to more shallow areas if we can't get something going here. I wonder how important that that bonus is when when you're fishing at the bottom, you know? Fifty five is slow for you. Yeah. Yeah, everywhere might be slowing down a little bit right now, but um, I kind of want to go try 34 again, maybe. Sounded like some people were having some success there. Yeah, I haven't tried the 80 yet, actually. It's a good point. There's also that big 75 that's like right to my east. I'm over here. I might as well go try that, maybe. Fish on a shelf. Yeah, it does look like the shelves might be some good spots to try. We're at 200 meters right now, just so everybody knows. So now we're getting the perking bonus and the movement in the bottom layer bonus. Was there a pond with a waterfall on the trailer? 
Man, I have completely lost perking. You can cast into it. Maybe it just drifted too far away. Is that a thing? Holy cow. Howard Howard has just figured out the game. Record Atlantic Halibut, Record Atlantic Region Record Pork Beagle. Poor Beagle? What's a poor beagle, by the way? All right, I don't know. I feel like I'm wasting time here. Let's 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 try something else. It's just been too long since we caught a fish. I, maybe this lure is doing me no favors. Hey, thanks, blood. Thanks for hanging out. By the way, let's switch lures. Like it's getting to be evening again. We know that O one really was working pretty good at night, at least. Let's try something different. What in the world? A poor beagle is a shark, really? Interesting. Have y'all tried this 75 at all? I mean, I'm sure people have. Three meters and 200 grams, 200 kilos. Good grief. We are not prepared. That is massive. Oh, is there a way to get an update on how much time your um, ticket has on it? Okay, click on an inventory. I got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Thank y'all. Uh, can we tell these tickets from the others? So, where are we right now? Norwegian. All right. 13 hours. Thank y'all. All right, let's catch something here. We haven't caught something in a minute. 
Let's get it. I mean, I caught one squid. So I guess we caught a European squid. I feel like you should be able to use squid as bait. Is that not a thing in this game? You cannot, okay. You're at eight hours and have yet to catch a squid. Plastic squid. Oh, they have a lure squid, don't they? Is that what you're saying? I do remember seeing that. Where are the swordfish? Pytum had one at the 190 hole. Yeah, shrimp as well. Yeah, that's right. Hey, hey. Might be a trophy squid. So does it just, does it like really destroy, um, does it destroy your bite rate if you don't have the, the live, the live bait on there, the filet or whatever? It's not that it's live, the natural bait on there, the fish bait on there. Does it still work? Neisner says no, does not kill your bite rate. You can still do some things. Ooh. You're not using any at the moment? Okay, nice. Doing okay? Cool. It's better than I'm doing. Finding the fish? Yeah, exactly. It's a cusk. I had a feeling. We're at 3.2 marine fishing. 10,000 XP. We'll take it. How many cusk is that for us now? Three decent cusk, it looks like. All right, so that was with the small fillet of safe. Let's try the herring, but same lure. This is the closest we have to a nighttime lure right now. Not that it's actually a nighttime lure. I don't know. Really, Dragon Claw, good to see you. And that's cool that squid is worth... 1.2 worth 64 silver. That's a big squid though, right? I feel like mine was 289 grams. That's cool. Ninety seven silver for the black rough. That's awesome. That's awesome.
All right. We got to experiment with all the things, Python. All the things. Oh, Relicade. That's no fun. Uh, yeah, that's no fun. Oh, nice, Niesner. You play any good board games lately, Relicade? Oh, yeah. Have you used them both? You could return one. We, uh, we recently played a board game called um, Tapestry. Actually enjoyed it a lot more than I was anticipating. Also played Meadow. That was very good, very light uh, compared to what we're used to playing, but very Zen-like, very cool. Someone on RF4 Discord posted a blue tag, Haddock caught on bottom fishing what like off the shore that's what i'm guessing blunty that's what i'm guessing you haven't played any lately gotcha oh is that what i'm doing to this this is not saltwater friendly, right? Venga? Venga is, oh, okay. With a carp rod. I mean, honestly, that might be worth trying. It'd be so cool, like you'd have two two uh you know bottom rods set up at least trying to get them and then still doing whatever with your your spinning rod put some squid boilies out there what's up droz Oh, nice Relicade. There you go. Good job, chat. Saving Relicade Silver. I mean, I could see there. I mean, there's probably still some, some bugs and stuff to work out on, like, maybe that certain reel didn't transfer to salt water like it was supposed to with the bearing change. Although, do you have to also do grease? Somebody was saying something about grease, like saltwater grease or something. No, I agree. I would, that's the, as soon as I saw that, I thought, okay, if you have a non saltwater reel, this is going to damage it so fast comparatively. That's, that's, that would be my guess. Addy, nice trophy haddock. Squid or spies. All right, we're actually going to cast this sucker. I mean, not super far, but just a little bit. Get it a little bit away from our boat to start off with. So we would want to cast in this direction, potentially. All right. Let's see if we can get it on the bottom.
if you cast far out and real stop real stop really can I also just do it this way even though it's pretty far out there yeah it's still doing it right Yeah, just as long as you keep tension. Yeah, so we'll have to see which way the current's taking it. But we're still getting this perking. We're also getting the uh, bottom layer as well. Even though we started out a little farther farther out than we were. Do you know of plan on making a video that's good on explaining all the new changes? Yo, Flavis, I mean, so this is my first time playing in quite a while as well so i mean i tend to you know i'll probably make part of this stream into a video to be honest with you but in terms of like succinctly trying to go through the changes and stuff i got to get my head wrapped around more of it myself and then we'll see yeah it seems like for me at least getting that double bonus of having it going through the bottom part of the water is important for a reasonable bite rate. I don't know. That's just what it feels like so far. Yeah, this just came out. We're in day one. Day one. Fillets are giving you a massive upgrade in bite rate. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. Have you tried the... Um... Oh, cool. A marker redfish. The other one we caught was really small. I mean, not that this isn't small, but you know what I mean. Have you tried any of the strips yet? Pytum. I think I've had pretty good success with the strips as well. All right, let's go. Let's go this way. We'll go a little farther out too. Uh, I wanted to look at the. Do I still have the patch notes? Yeah. Did y'all notice where it was like while my lure is sinking? Um, Please note, in the initial days following the update, you may encounter imbalanced gameplay or server instability. We greatly appreciate any feedback during this period, but understand if you choose to wait a few days for a more refined experience. Just kind of preparing everybody, right? Like, yo, this could be rough. <laughs> I guess just with, I'm sure they've done a ton of testing, but with the sudden like heavy server load, uh, during this venture, you'll encounter new fishing techniques, innovative equipment, and a d diverse array of marine life, which will continue to expand over time. I don't know how much to read into that, but it just sounds like, you know, we're holding back a couple things that we haven't fully developed yet or something for the map. Have y'all heard anything about that? That's just how I'm reading that. I don't know if that's, if, if I'm reading that correctly or not, but. It's interesting. Yo, uh, Cage, greetings. Welcome back. Oh, we're not. <laughs> good call. We're not wearing our flannels. Good call. Uh, yeah, that redfish is cute, isn't it? Sounds like crab droves. Yeah, maybe so. You got to level 34, nice. Perfect. Yeah, so we're getting a bite rate. Uh, we're kind of on a roll here with small fish, but we are getting a bite rate. Yeah, totally new line. Which it's kind of cool because it tells you, I don't know if you can see it well, but it tells you how much line is out. If you're using this rainbow line, you actually get a line counter <clears throat> um, down in the bottom of the screen. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Which, you know, I think that's another redfish. We're actually on the redfish right now. Hey, just keep giving us those marine life points. Keep giving us those marine life points. So what percentage do we need to be 
So at 35%, we can start using fillet rigs. Right now, we can use pilker rigs and marine jigging rigs, which I really haven't tried the marine jigging yet, but I need to get some new equipment to be able to try that. But um, anyway, it's nice getting those points. Is that right, Addy? Did you reset your skill points already? See, I only have one skill point to spend. So I'm kind of like wanting to hold on to the skill reset till we just have a little better feel for what's working the best and all that. 30 kilo halibut at 55. Man, the problem with 55, for me at least, although it is morning, like this is a good time to be fishing right now, but for me, 55 seemed to be slowing down, but that's been a while ago, so. This time of day though, like, this is probably another redfish. This time of day, the bite rate just seems really good. I'm a spinning guy, so I used only on spinning and a few on sea tree. Oh, nice. Yeah, if you're that focused on like, you know what kind of fishing you like to do primarily, you've got plenty of points, you know. Happy to see you streaming. Came back to play RF4 one to two weeks now, and first thing I did was check your YouTube for guidance. I was worried that you stopped playing the game since your last video was three months ago. Hey, this is the first time I've caught a European hake, right? Pretty good XP. We got another point in marine fishing, so we'll take it. Uh, is that am I right, or had we already had one of those? No, that was our first one. Use the Max Bond one twenty five ten. Yo, I don't have that. Uh, thank you, Cage. I appreciate that. Yeah, I I definitely obviously took a break from playing the game. Um, I knew that this was coming out, you know, eventually. So I wanted to. Um, kind of be excited to come back and play it more once there was some new new stuff going on uh plus you know frankly i've been pretty busy with some of you may remember if you were following me pretty closely i had a job change that my new job started this past august so uh it's been a while now right almost to the end of the first calendar year and it's been great but it's definitely been a lot busier um but but I can't blame it all on that. Like I've chosen with, I've ha I have less free time, but I've also chosen to use that free time in other ways. Uh, but I was excited to, you know, once new content came out, I was excited to come try it. And the good news about my job, though I'm a lot busier during most of the year, it is a 10 month contract. So I will have some time over the summer to um, potentially spend a lot more time and energy creating content and stuff if, if, if that's what I choose to do so yo Jake yeah I've loved the new job new job's been great new job's been great um but I've had to kind of I've just got a lot less free time so you know sort of have to focus that in on family and other stuff but oh is that right Relicade yeah I hadn't played in a while either Have you gotten in, gotten some uh, time in yet, Jake? Ch checking out the Norwegian Sea. All right, let's go over this way a little bit. Oh, glad, I'm glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. Just got 26 levels. Oh, you just got to, you just got to level twenty six, and new patch you unlocked both Ladoga and Amber. Wait, did they change level requirements on stuff?
Dude, I just wish the patch notes were more detailed. Is that unreasonable? Like, I feel like that's not unreasonable. I've always wanted more detailed patch notes, though, to be honest. So Rainbow Line is HI Power Braid. Ladoga and Amber are 26 now. Interesting. Catfish. Notes felt slightly bland to me as well. Yeah. Ooh, Haddock. It's a little Haddock. Nice little Haddock. You know, the next thing to do might be, I don't know what, what hook sizes you guys are using. I'm using, uh, I'm using the, um, stock, 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 uh, hooks. So next time we do this, it might be worth trying some bigger hooks. I, I'm, I've been on a streak of pretty small fish for a while now. I like the bite rate, but I would like to see a little bit larger fish. To get a decent jig weight, you're gonna use a big hook? Yeah, yeah, I would imagine so. Extra large six hundred gram for jigging. <laughs> Jinx. on those small fish. It's another shark. Well, two kilo shark. All right, we're going to the small fillet um, safe there. Yeah, it was good XP. You made some strips to try next. Nice. Yeah, I've been using strips. I just switched back to the uh, to the small fillet, but those strips are working. I just I don't know if it's because my hook size or just RNG, but just been getting some small fish lately.
No, does it look good, Magnum? I haven't seen. I haven't noticed yet. You're just throwing hundred one. What's up, Rift? Forever it's been. How you doing, Rift? Throwing hundred one spoons around. You got a shark? What? What? No way. All right, it's a haddock. Yeah, I'm doing good. So, all right. So you're not using this kind of rig. Are you just using a, um, are you using stuff that's not, that's not saltwater grade or are there options to use spoons, but have, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. Rift. It's late. It's getting late. You gotta watch it. You catch, you catch fish on the drop sometimes. Doesn't even make it all the way to the bottom every once in a while. Uh, Luna's 99A, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Thank you for the follow. In my town, we can buy haddock and chips. Is that what I just called? Yep, haddock. Call it haddock. Nice, nice. Oh my goodness. I'm just getting such quick bites, but again, Small stuff. A little safe, we'll take it. Not complaining. Again, the bite rate, right? So good at the moment. Crimson Knight, how's it going? Is that what it is, Sea Perch? Those safe? I mean, I'm kind of okay with that because we can turn it into what seems to be pretty important bait, right? So if we get back to town and they're not worth anything, at least we can make some good bait out of it. I want to do this while while having a couple of uh, boat rods out. I mean, imagine how fun that's going to be if that works the way I think it does. We're going to be able to have one of these rods out and at least one, maybe two boat rods out, right? Catching stuff off the bottom. Isn't that going to be like next tier fun? Next tier level of fun? Mephios, thank you. I appreciate that. It's good to be back. Having fun tonight. I'm going to try it. I'm going to be wrapping this up fairly soon, but I'm going to... There's a bite. Ah. I think it's pretty small again but i'm gonna try to start earlier tomorrow i'm gonna try to do an early stream tomorrow if i can we'll see how it goes just so that time zone difference we can uh not torture people hey look at that sculpting we're almost five percent Uh, Palika, thank you for the follow. Dedicated Dad, thanks for the shout out. Welcome to the stream. Sniper, good to see you. Carlin from our chat got the first halibut trophy. Nice. I did not know that. That is awesome. Is there some good info posted in our Discord yet about anything? I haven't even looked yet. I've been so overwhelmed by everything like 
I've basically been like a robot. I'm just doing what chat tells me tonight. Yo, dedicated dad. Thanks for the raid. Hope you had a good stream and I appreciate the raid. Yeah, I'm doing well. Doing well, Dedicated. How are you? Uh, Sniper says, I don't really know. I've been playing for a few hours, and then I've been outside. Just came home. This map feels like it's already been nerfed. I don't know about that. Surely it's too early to, to think that. I mean, there's so many factors that could be impacting stuff, right? All right, let's make sure we get our small one this time, please. Uh, actually, I want to check and see my inventory. We have 16, 17, and 27. I think I want to get some more of these. No, 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 no. Let's get strips this time. Let's actually do strips. Uh, so let's, where do we want to cast this? Let's cast it, let it be sinking. And let's turn that into strips. Is that right? You say fillet them all, all the way up to 10 kilos? Well, since this is the first time I've fished, I do want to see like all the marker fish I have. I just kind of want to check out and see what prices are. They're not worth anything, but you do the large fillet. Are you actually throwing those large fillet on your rod? I haven't done any, I haven't done anything with large fillet yet. Oh crap. I mean, I, I think I'm going to do that because see, I'm not sure how much longer I was going to go and we can maybe do something for sh from shore for a little bit, right? If we want to fish for a few more minutes. Uh, all right, let's think about this. Where is the, I don't think we've got anything for cafe, but we might as well, we might as well make sense. Ooh, can't get through there. All right. We only had one of those, no muscles. I did not catch any of those European flounders. We needed three more mackerel, so we didn't get that. No 10 kilo cusk. We did have one of these, but it was way too small and we did not catch any Greenland halibut. Okay, so certainly no cafe orders. And here is the, nope, <laughs> what am I thinking? Here, nope, hold on. We saw it earlier, right? might be over on the other side where you sell the fish okay that was the cafe here we go uh how's all right so overall we did 316 Okay, let's go by price. All right, so the best fish we caught was that Pollock, almost 50 silver. The shark, not bad either. I guess if the cusk are large enough, it's not terrible. That's pretty good for these small little red fish. The hakes, okay, cod's okay, haddock. We just caught a lot of small stuff. All right, so let's look specifically at the safe. Yeah, I mean, look at the difference here. So if you want to be a little bit more precise, somewhere in here, there's a jump in price. So I definitely will turn this 2.3 into bait. I actually might sell these because we did spend like 12,000 silver tonight. So every little bit helps. But this 2.8... Uh, 2.3 one. Yeah, we definitely turn that into bait. All right, let's do, uh, let's try the large. Hey, I, 
by default, it should put your smallest one up there, right? I mean, doesn't that just make sense? That's a 50 gram filet. All right, so let's see. Is that even an option to put that on there? Cannot be mounted on a rig. So that's something we're gonna use somewhere else, somehow, some other way, right? Um, okay, so if you can focus squid at night, that's good money. Okay, that's good. To... You're bottom fishing at C6 Island. Oh, that's cool. Oh, you can use it if you have a larger hook? So like if I turned this into a, oh, I can only go up to five aught on that one, huh? That can go up to the six aught. That we can go up to a six lot. Okay, we'll play around with that some. You're running the fillets with the 250 gram dapper. So like this one. Oh yeah. So what size hook came on this by default? Oh, the four aughts. Okay, there you go. You're using the 07. So let's see if there's any uh, any of those still left in the store. Hold on, let me think about this. The store. Um, no, it was back out here, right? Oh dang, these are these are new, huh? For dead fish. Oh, that's awesome. That is so cool. So that does that go on the um the boat the boat rides? Is that what we're gonna be slaying fish on with our boat rides eventually? All right, 250. Um, there's so many new lures, it's awesome. Look at this. That's pretty cool. I also like these. There's just so many. Some of them are too heavy for our setups though. What is this? Oh, so, okay, so some of the rigs are going to have some new sinkers on there. That's good to know. That's good to know. Okay, let's go to lures and go to pilkers. You got the Ocean Queen for the test? Yeah, I grabbed the same one, Ocean Queen. Zyman 2007. I mean, the question is, is it in stock?
This one? Okay, I'll try that. It's like two lures is how much it costs just the fish we caught today. And uh, he was using small fillets. And Rift, you said the 250 dapper. The three, oh, there's a 250. And you said 07. Really? Is this at night? I heard someone was saying use the bright white ones at night. You're using it all day. All right, I'll try that one. I'll try that one tomorrow too. I think, I mean, I'm just about done tonight. We might do a little bit more, but. I'm getting tired. All right. So where are people shore fishing from? And how do you get there? This way, I guess. Looks like a glow lure. I'll have to look at that. You're going to try to get a shark at 200. Does this just show lures or does it show live baits as well? Oh, so Greenland shark, the biggest one was on a large fillet. Check the halibut. So maybe you have to go to, no? Oh, different halibut. The Atlantic halibut. So big, by the way. No halibut on, uh, yeah, I don't know. I was just wondering, like, what live baits other than the that one bait people are using on their basic bottom yeah yeah that's a good question that's stuff we need to figure out i'm just too tired at the moment i'm just going to literally cast this a couple times more i think i was just trying to figure out where people might be fishing from off the shore over here yeah you can send it to me if you want Okay, I like it. That's what I'm saying, who needs a boat? Nine point nine kilo safe.
<laughs> they are definitely the perch or the chum salmon. Yeah, for sure. Two point six K. That is amazing. Two hours on the bingo. Were you trolling? Like, were you chasing it? Oh, true. You can't put rod on the holder. <laughs> Good point. Yo, yeah, we're just we wearing straight up like yellow rain gear or something, right? Carlin got it. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, I really like this. This is fun. It's good stuff. Definitely want to do some more testing. I just need to uh, be a little less tired. It's a long day at work, but I've got a few days off, so we'll try to get some more streams in. See what we can get into. And I know the community will continue to figure out more and more, so that'll be cool too. H Gluck says, try real speed five and reel it in with right click for better presentation. Okay, thank you. We'll give that a try next time. Uh, let's, uh, let's sell our fish. All right, let me look at the safe cost again. Um, man. Cafe and um, bait house or over or uh, fish market are over here. Let's go to safe. So that's twenty three point eight eight. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna make I'm gonna make whatever out of the other two, but I'm gonna save that one. All right. So let's do um, let's do another. Actually, let's do a huge. Let's make sure we have it. Oh, oh, it, it actually has to be smaller to turn it into huge. All right, so we'll do one large. All right, good night. So that's two pieces, two large fillets right there. And let's do, um, Let's do small fillets with this one because I think we did the strips with the last one. That's what we'll do. All right, cool. Let's sell some fish. All right, we make 322, 322 silver, 20 fish. Hey, first day, I'll take it. Thank you, Magnum. It's great to stream again. Thank you all so much for the support. Thanks for being here. Cool seeing new fish, it absolutely is. Cool seeing a new map, cool seeing a new fish. A lot to explore here. First time in a long time, if you've been playing this game for a long time, first time in a long time that we have new things to level, new things to save for, and uh, new types of fishing to figure out. 
Yo, is Richard Hammer playing this game again? What? All right. Thank y'all for being here. Y'all are the best. That's weird that Richard Hammer is bringing his community back. Hopefully someone will stick around this time. Best of uh, best of luck. Tight lines, everybody. Thanks for the support. Thanks for being here. I'll see you again soon. Peace out.